Hello, my little friends. Now I will tell you a fairy tale about a girl, whose name was Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a sweet little girl who was loved by everyone. Her grandmother loved her most of all, and once gave her a red cloak which the girl liked so much that she would wear nothing else. So she was always called Little Red Riding Hood. One day, when her father was out chopping wood, Little Red Riding Hood's mother said to her, Your grandmother has been feeling ill. Go take this basket to her. In it, I've put some eggs, juice, and cake. And so, Little Red Riding Hood set off for her grandmother's cottage in the middle of the woods. It was a bright and sunny morning. Along the way, Red Riding Hood was so happy she wanted to dance through the woods. All around her grew pretty wild flowers, which she loved so much that she stopped to pick a bunch for her grandmother. When Little Red Riding Hood stooped to pick a flower, a gruff voice behind her said, Good morning, Little Red Riding Hood. She turned around and saw a great big wolf, but she did not know what a wicked beast the wolf was, so she was not afraid. Good morning, Mr. Wolf, she replied happily. What have you got in that basket, Little Red Riding Hood? Eggs and juice and cake. Where are you going with them, Little Red Riding Hood? To my grandmother's. She's quite ill. Where does your grandmother lie, Little Red Riding Hood? A good half an hour further into the woods. Three large apple trees sit in front of her house. Surely you must know it. I do indeed, replied the wolf. And with that he set off whilst Little Red Riding Hood continued her search for pretty wild flowers. At last the wolf found the cottage with the three large apple trees and knocked at the door. Awoken from her sleep, the grandmother asked who's there. Little Red Riding Hood said the wicked wolf. Press the latch, open the door, and walk in, said the grandmother. The wolf pressed the latch, opened the door, and walked in. He made one jump at her, but she jumped out of her bed and into a closet. The wolf then put on the grandmother's cap and crept under the bedsheets. After a while, Little Red Riding Hood walked through the open door, calling out, Good morning, grandmother. I have brought you eggs, juice, and cake, and some pretty flowers. As she came closer to the bed, she said, Oh, Grandmother, what big ears you have. All the better to hear you with my child. But, Grandmother, what big eyes you have. All the better to see you with, my dear. But, Grandmother, what big hands you have. All the better to hug you with. But, Grandmother, what big teeth you have. All the better to eat you with, he said as he sprang at Little Red Riding Hood. Just at that moment, Little Red Riding Hood's father was passing the cottage and heard her scream. He rushed in and with his axe chopped off Mr. Wolf's head. Everybody was happy that Little Red Riding Hood had escaped the wolf. Then Little Red Riding Hood's father carried her home, and they lived happily ever after. Thank you for watching, my little friends. Until we meet again.